What up, what up, it's your main man, Jinko, here to give you today's Critics Corner. Today's Critics Corner is featured in the movie Jurassic World, starring Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, and directed by Colin Trevorrow. Jurassic World's here to chomp down the competition. And let me tell you why. The premise is pretty much this. There's a new park called Jurassic World down the street from the last part, Jurassic Park. Ain't nobody learned their lesson. They basically took that destruction and tragic killing of human beings and said, you know what, I think we can do this, we just gotta make sure we close that gate. <laughs> now here we are with Jurassic World. So now the park is fully open and operational, and attendance is up, but it's slowly going down. So Jurassic World has turned to alternative methods to keep attendance up. Man, they probably got a little problem with somebody scalping tickets. So one of their brilliant scientists came up with this highly intelligent, well thought out, dumb idea of genetically modifying dinosaurs together. They genetically modified this creature together called the Indominus Rex. So pretty much they think half Tyrannosaurus Rex, half Raptor, half Chameleon, half Albert Einstein, half Good Credit, half Great IQ, half Blood, half Crip, half KKK, half NYPD, half LAPD. Racist white dinosaur. That's what they did. I mean, the Adonis Rex is pretty much a dinosaur on steroids that just got done reading the first issue of How to Kill Humans in Jurassic Park for Dummies. And what happens? You guess the people out there on the internet. He gets loose. It gets out the cage and wreaks havoc on everyone on the island. This has been a That's What They Say in Movies moment. Brought to you by Jurassic Park Timeshares. Jurassic World is definitely one of those movies that you can go out there with the whole family and enjoy. It has fun, laughter, and all around just a really, really good film. But I'm finna get into the pros and cons. There's gonna be some spoilers in there, so now you in the spoiler zone. The movie cons. This movie is point blank simple. It's a disaster monster film that, you know, every time you turn and something's going good here, something bad gonna happen just so they can have a chase scene. It gets to the point where you go like, okay, well, I guess we've been living a good life for the past three minutes. Time to run away from some dinosaurs. There is a progression of a plot, but you definitely know what's going to happen. You know what? I really didn't like how they kept the T-Rex away until the end of the movie. I mean, that was a good reveal at the end where like, oh shoot, what's the ultimate thing that can fight this Endowment of Rex? Then here comes the T-Rex. You like, oh shit, the T-Rex, man, oh, there's a T-Rex, and a T-Rex over there. But then you go, you know what, man? I ain't seen the T-Rex the whole movie. So they kept the T-Rex away just so they can bring him out at the end of the movie to make it a real exciting plot point. Forget y'all and good job. I really didn't like the fact how the Adamus Rex died at the end by the hands of the whale with the Halosaurus. He wasn't even in the movie at all for the most part. Then all of a sudden, the whale with the Halosaurus just came up out of nowhere and just jumped onto the Adamus Rex and killed him. Savagely. Forget y'all. But good job. The movie pros. The acting in this film was pretty good. They had some pretty exciting moments within the film. The only thing about it, they were just really predictable. The special effects on this film were on a whole nother level. You definitely see that they blended good CGI work, animatronics, and things of that nature. It was a good blend of all these medias just coming together and creating a great film. They're definitely going to be making more, especially since it already broke the box office biggest weekend record, surpassing Avengers, the first Avengers. They kind of hurt me to my heart and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, cause I love Avengers, man. Avengers is, is my joint. Like, like, like when that movie come on, it, it's like, ooh, that's my joint. Seeing this movie, and I was like, man, what if I was in Jurassic Park? Or better yet, what if I was in a regular park with my kids? So we got dead bodies, and what looks to be. <clears throat> yeah, that's doo doo. That's definitely doo doo. That looks like chocolate, though. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah that's chocolate. But that's definitely doo doo. I really wish I wouldn't have eaten that. But with all these together, it's worse than I thought. These genetically modified kids are going around running them up game banking, eating chocolate, doo dooing, and killing people. Jurassic World's gonna be in terrible danger pretty soon. 
But then me, what's the news? What was that? Oh no. Not now, not now. I can't play with you now. Ariana, I played with you yesterday. Come on. Akira, you know I'm always playing with you. Alea, don't you give me that stuff. I can't play. All right. <laughs> Oh, what makes sense? Ah! On a scale from 1 to 10, I would give it a 7. It's a fun, exciting summer blockbuster. You definitely should go out there and enjoy it. So what do you guys think about Jurassic World? Did you think that the Chris Pratt Raptors chase scene of the Indominus Rex was real dope? Do you think it was a dope scene? Subscribe and comment below, and i definitely love to hear from you. And if you like this video, click that like button. All right, y'all, that's it for today's Critics Corner. I'm your main man, Jinko. Peace up, A-Town down south, cat to the side, and here's looking at you. Welcome. To Jurassic World. Welcome to the Boom Boom Room. Welcome to the. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Um, there's no dinosaurs allowed in here. You're gonna have to tie that dinosaur outside on that little branch out there. Just go ahead, oh, right up there to that tree. Yeah, go over there and then tie him up out there. No, I don't care. Stick a sword. I don't care if he's a he's a what the. I don't care what he is a source. You know what I mean? He ain't gonna be in here. Okay, I'll see you later.